the domestic USD price remains at its ceiling, while the greenback on the international market has reached its highest level in the past year. Although the state bank continuously pumped net money in the open market, the pressure on the exchange rate remained high, banks announced the USD price at the ceiling allowed. Vietcom Bank bought at 25,150 to 25,180 VND, sold at 25,502 VND. ACB bought at 25,140 to 25,170 VND, sold at 25,500 VND. In the open market, the state bank has just pumped out nearly 30,000 billion VND to 21 members. This is the session with the highest number of members winning bids ever for a seven day term, with an interest rate of 4% year. Meanwhile, the withdrawal was only 300 billion VND, one of two members won the bid with an interest rate of 4% year, with a term of 28 days. In the interbank market, the USD transaction turnover converted to VND during the week from November 4 to 8 between banks reached about VND 486,063 billion, an average of VND 97,213 billion day an increase of VND 31,229 billion day compared to the previous week. The terms with large turnover were overnight and one week with proportions of 76.5% and 21.84% of total transaction turnover, respectively. The remaining terms each accounted for less than 1% of total transaction turnover. Regarding interest rates, compared to the previous week, USD interest rates of all terms fluctuated in opposite directions, in which the one-week term interest rate decreased by 0.22%, the three-week term interest rate increased by 0.12%. USD interest rates ranged from 4.84 to 5.09% year, lower than VND interest rates by 0.3 to 0.4% year. The greenback also rose sharply on the world market, with the USD index rising to 106.51 points, up 0.6 points, the highest level in the past year. The USD price increased following Donald Trump's victory in the US presidential election last week. The US Department of Labor also just announced that the US consumer price index increased by 0.2% for the fourth consecutive month in line with economists' expectations, amid rising housing costs such as rent. In the 12 months to October, the CPI increased by 2.6%. Meanwhile, U.S. Treasury yields fell after the inflation data, with the yield on the two-year bond, which usually fluctuates with interest rate expectations, falling 6.5 basis points to 4.279%.